Chickens do not pop out of eggs very often, I've, I've noticed. My god, man. Alright. That's actually the first time I've used my... Hey, that's actually the first time I've used my eggs in a while. There we go. The angel rings are done. So, let's just go ahead and... Uh, oh, I should probably... I need to strip my... I need to strip off my... Uh, Wait, I need to strip off my uh, my airtight seal from these. Give me just a second while I do that, because oh wait, I need books. Book. All right. Hello. Can I not do that? Hmm. Can I not do that from? Oh my god. All right. Let's see. Uh, disenchanter. Uh, Draconic Core. All right, that, um, that'll that'll just take a little bit of time, because I mean I wasn't planning on making a uh, disenchanter today. Uh, and then we're going to need an enchantment table. All right, disenchanter. Thank you. All right, so if we do this, uh, let's see, book. Here we go. 20 levels? Oh my god. Okay, that's that's super expensive. All right. It's 20 levels to get rid of airtight seal. There we go. That is really expensive. All right, I I think I'm just going to make a mana enchanter and just uh I should probably just like make a mana enchanter for this thing, just uh, just so I can say, uh, just so I can say, screw it, and just reuse that book over and over. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be my plan of action. So I'm just gonna say, screw airtight seal on the other ones, and uh, yeah. All right. So this we're gonna want to do uh, outbound blacklist crystal matrix. All right. So. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just get let's just get this stuff prepped. All right, and then it's this and crystal matrix in the middle, and a resonant cell frame. Am I missing something? Uh, hmm. Let's see, boots. Oh, the draconic energy course. Uh, let's see. That's a bit of a problem. All right. There you go. We got Draconic Armor going. <laughs> I will just say, this this took a bit of time, but I'm glad I got to the point where I could actually make Draconic Armor, because Draconic Armor is awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's... Oh, my God. How much power does this take? RF cost. Is that max int? I think that's max int RF. So, uh, yeah, it's using a million RF a tick at max int RF to make the Draconic Armor. Oh, boy. Whew, this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, maybe, you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe maybe it's time I... Hold on. How much Draconium do I have? 410 blocks? All right. Uh, Akashic Tome. Here, there you are. Are you going to work with Draconic's, uh... Nope. You are not going to work with that. Awesome. Okay. So, I was planning on making energy core, uh, but I wanted to see how much stuff I needed, and apparently, uh, apparently the, uh, the Draconic, uh, uh, apparently the Draconic documentation is a little bit screwy right now. So fun. Give me just a second while I try to figure out how much stuff I need for, like, a, a Tier 7 uh, a Draconic Energy Orb. Okay, so I have the FTB wiki up on my other monitor, and it's saying I need 328 blocks of redstone. Uh, I'm going to need more redstone. <laughs> okay, so I'm not even close. I'm not even close. Man. Okay, so, and so basically I just... Basically, I just need more redstone. Uh, 
All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, let's just let's just get the rest of these crafted really quickly. Would you look at that? We got draconic armor. So let's just go ahead and uh, put this on. Uh oh, these are ghost items. Okay, <laughs> I was so confused for a second. All right, uh, and so let's open the quest. Where's my quest book? There it is. All right. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just go ahead and see what I got here. Draconic energy core. Yeah. Uh, a crafting component. Yeah. 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 Thanks. All right, chaos shard. You get chaos shards from the chamber in the middle of Chaos Islands. In the end, Chaos Islands generate in a grid every ten thousand blocks. X ten thousand Z zero has one. X ten thousand Z ten thousand has one, and so on. This, the island is protected by Chaos Guardian. This is without a doubt the strongest boss in the pack. You'll need to prepare a lot before engaging it. Yes, exactly. And yeah, we have five chests we can open. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh, shulker shells, thanks. Auxiliary reception coils. Mud bricks? What? Mud bricks? How do you even make these? Liquid dirt. Hmm. Mud brick, building blocks for small and big. I've never even heard of these. Liquid dirt. Hmm. Okay then. A resonator. Thanks. And a rabbit. Hmm. Okay then. So, not exactly very useful rewards. I'm just saying. Oh boy. So. Then we can use, oh, oh boy. Um. Okay, so we can use the Draconic Armor to make the Infinity Armor, which which means you literally can't die. So yeah. Infinity Armor, eh, Infinity Armor is basically like, this is the God Armor, you cannot die while you're, uh, while you're wearing this. But you do need a lot of Infinity Ingots for this, which requires, a few things. Uh, I mean, I guess to be fair, you could also just like make one infinity ingot, melt it, and put it in the creative tank once you get there. Let's see. Uh, creative fluid tank. Yeah, I mean, the creative fluid tank doesn't need it. The creative fluid tank doesn't even need any. Uh, it doesn't even need any infinity ingots. So, yeah. It does require a lot of fluids, though. So. That's fun. You, you matter. Primal mana. Tree oil. Ethanol. Then liquid DNA. Bucket of blood. Okay. And goat milk. Oh my god. So I, ba I basically have to learn how to get milk from goats in Animania. Great. Awesome. When I thought I didn't need to do anything with Animania. Guess what? You do. So that stuff is done. Uh, all right, let's see here. So I could get a, yeah, maybe I should do mana enchanter really quick. Or uh, wait, maybe, hold on. Flux capacitor. I'm thinking maybe a draconic flux capacitor might be a good idea. Okay, so that needs four draconic energy cores. Uh, okay, well, hmm. so energy core. How much redstone do I have? Uh, do I even have enough redstone for this? I don't have enough boron for this or uranium. Okay, so boron and uranium are my bottlenecks for this, which means, yikes. All right, uh, nope, I need here. I need more boron and uranium for this. Is bas that's, basically, that's basically what this is coming down to. So, What's this doing? Ooh. Okay, well, it's doing copper right now for some reason. All right. Prioritize uranium, please. Like, I need uranium, first off. Uh, hmm. Okay. I kind of I kind of wish I could, like, uh, I wish I could sort ores between pages. That would be, that would be great. So, yeah, boron and uranium are going to be my... Uh, gonna be the things I need in order to get a draconic flux capacitor. 
Like, I really want one of these because it holds a lot of RF, and I feel like you need all that RF when you're going to fight the Chaos Dragon. Plus, I've been using this uh, this flux capacitor for a long time, and uh, I'm not sure it's going to be enough when I go to fight the Chaos Dragon. Um, I mean, I should also make the upgrade keys that I need. So, upgrade key uh, for RF capacity, definitely. So, RF capacity, um, shield capacity, shield recovery. RF capacity, shield capacity, shield recovery. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe I should try to up, uh, maybe I should upgrade my laser as well. Um, so, let's see. Laser. What can I, uh, what can I use to, what can I use to power up my laser? Find, um, hmm. So I basically need more laser power. Infinity, not even close to that. Uh, chaotic, not even close to that. I don't think I can upgrade my laser medium anytime soon. So, uh, pipe, pipe piece. Oh my god, there are so many pipe pieces. Oh my god, dude. Um, I mean, I can make... Hmm. Awakened pipe piece. Hmm. I... Uh, I think... I think I'm basically just down to, like... You should... I think I'm just down to, like... You should probably just, uh... You should probably just, like, use a bow instead of... Instead of the laser... I should probably just use a draconic bow instead of the laser gun. Like... I, mean, I don't think I can really upgrade the laser gun all that much right now, because uh, the next upgrade is chaotic for laser mediums, that is. So basically the best laser medium that I have right now is refined glowstone. I don't uh, I don't have chaotic cores right now, and they're not coming anytime soon. So, uh, yeah, maybe... Uh, give me just a second while I just process some ores. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to make the draconic bow, because, I mean, why not? Oh, that needs a premium bow. Oh, dude. Okay, so that need that requires me to make a premium bow. And draconium infused obsidian. Okay, draconium infused obsidian is easy. All right, so All right, let's just see uh, what this. Why do you want to do copper? I need boron. Stop. Stop doing copper. Please. Do, uh, do the nuclear craft doors first. Uh, so, let's just see what I can... So I need four of these, right? Yeah, so then it needs boron and uranium. So I'm, I'm processing uranium right now, and then, and then the boron is coming after. So, there you go. Alright, so... Yeah, give me just a second while I... Uh, just wait for stuff. You know, considering I'm making the bow, I might as well get uh, arrow damage, draw speed, and arrow speed for uh, for the bow, so that I can just like do more damage with the bow. So let's see. RF, yeah, RF capacity. I mean that. I think I, I think maybe the smart thing for me to do would be to just like craft all these, uh, craft all this stuff off camera, because like, yeah, this is uh, a lot of stuff. Uh. Oh, all of these need your conic cores, I think. So, hmm. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 draconic cores. Not counting the one that needs to be turned into a wyvern energy core. So, fun. So, draconic. Uh, let's just go ahead. Uh, let's just go ahead and see one of these. And then 12 of these. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, let's just do, let's just do key crafting off camera really quickly. You know, I just had a really good idea for, <laughs> for a modular machine. I could base, uh, so, this is, this is just an aside, but I just had a really good idea for a modular machine in a pack that uses mechanism for, like, or quintupling. So, my idea would be, have a modular machine that just does all of these processes in in basically just basically just like same amount of, uh, 
I don't know. Just basically have a have a machine that does the same and all these processes just a little bit faster, but the the machine requires all eight of these to make the blueprint, and the blueprint is required to make the machine. So yeah, then you can just have like fluid inputs for water and for hydrogen chloride and for oxygen. You know, just basically, it, well, and sulfuric acid as well. So yeah. So basically, just have all have all those inputs, and uh, just the modular machine would just do everything. That that would, I think I think that would be pretty fun if to do. It. I think it'd be pretty fun to do in a in a uh, in a mechanism pack. So yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. I I I may I may implement that. I may do that if I if I ever decide to do a pack sometime. But I'm not sure. All right, there we go. All six keys are good, good to go, and all we really have to do is just, uh, you know, get all the stuff needed to uh, upgrade my draconic armor. So I could do up to the, you know, I could do up to the draconic tier, which is, you know, plenty, ish. Uh, let's see. So I think I also, I should probably also make the bow. Oh boy. Um, I'll be back. I will just say that the bow is a really annoying craft. Although I'm not even done. Uh, oh crap. So I need an awakened core and a draconic energy core. Which I don't even have enough sulfur or boron or uranium to do. Awesome. Cool. Thanks for the bow quest. Okay, thank. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't know. Just yay. All right, this is gonna take a lot of time. I am fed up with this thing. <laughs> I I just I needed to switch this out to an advanced item filter. So, unfortunately, every bucket of fluid that is registered in Forge has the same item ID. So I have to use NBT matching in order to make sure it doesn't pull out IC2 coolant because this and this is breaking every single time and it's so annoying. Like stop pulling primal uh, stop pulling IC2 coolant out. Just stop it. All right. I'll be back. All right, I finally got enough stuff for a draconic energy core. I'm gonna need to come back because this this is a really long craft. All right, we got everything we need to craft the uh, draconic bow, so let's do that. And uh, yeah, so this, these two, this, and boom. Okay, shift clicking didn't work there. I don't know why, but hmm. all right. It's, I mean, it's it's fine. We have the draconic bow, so. Yeah, now we're just going to need to upgrade it, you know, off camera, because the upgrade process is the same for all six. Uh, uh, the upgrade uh, the upgrade process is the same for everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking I just uh, end off the episode here or something. I don't know. Uh, how about the draconic flux capacitor? What did I need for this again? Right. Four of those. So. Three more needs more sulfur, more boron, more uranium. Yeah, sulfur, boron, and uranium is my uh, is my bottleneck here. So basically, I need I need more sulfur somehow. I mean, there is there is a really good recipe uh, in the IC2 extractor. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, I could I could do an IC2 extractor, gunpowder to sulfur. Like that is a that is a really good recipe. So, hmm. I feel like I may need to rearrange some machines though. I could put a I could put something here. Yeah, I could put something here. Uh, wait, that's eight. So, what the? Did I look at an Enderman? That's weird. Huh. 
Let's see, so... Oh, boy. Hmm. Maybe I should just, uh... I'm not, I'm not sure. I need, I need to find some other way to make sulfur. Uh, let's see. I mean, there are sulfur seeds, which are easy to make. Um, there's sulfur. Uh, I can make sulfur in the uh, in the alchemy table, but uh, nah. Chemical injection chamber. There's only I only have one of those. Um, sometimes get it when I'm making nether bricks, or if I'm making refined fuel. I feel like I need refined fuel, don't I? Hmm. I don't know, but I mean the extractor is still a really good recipe, so maybe hmm. maybe I, let's just hmm. yeah, I think I should just wait for stuff because I mean I have boron coming in. I'm not sure about uranium. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get more mats and uh, I'll be back. All right, another huge craft coming up. Three draconic energy cores. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, flux capacitor. So this needed also an awakened core, which needs even more boron and some cobalt. Okay, so even more boron, more cobalt, more uranium. Oh boy. Uh, that's tin. Okay, well now I want my cobalt to go through here. Uh, let's just yeah, let's just do this. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, no boron first. Boron first. Note stop. Just do the boron first, and uh, I'll be back. All right, finally have enough cobalt to make an awakened core. So, there we go. I'll be back when the uh, when everything is ready. Oh yeah, I also forgot. I need to make a wyvern flux capacitor in order to make the draconic one. So, let's just do this to get the quest, and then do this, and then do this to get the other quest. So I should have completed both, I think. Hmm. Let's see. I know I ha I had this in my inventory, dude. Well, because I had this in my inventory, uh, how about we just uh, also... Let's just, yeah, let's just also put this... And maybe, and maybe just like discharge this, just let this thing discharge. Also, I had the Wyvern Flux Capacitor in my inventory, so not even fair. Just do this. Yeah, that's not even fair. I had it in my inventory for a bit, so you it, you can't even you can't even like not count that. So yeah, not if. All right, it's fine. Purper blocks, uh, tape measure, which really I already have one of these. Rod of the Shifting Crust. Ooh, that's actually kind of good. And Brewing Stand. All right. So this is empty. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Uh, the The network should be set to like... I, I think, if I remember correctly, this network is set to... Yeah, disable limits. I, I should probably check the controller as well because... Uh, I think this is what's responsible for uh, wireless charging. This is set to disable limits, so, hmm. Interesting. I mean, it, it should be fine, but uh, yeah. I will need to upgrade the RF capacity on this. Uh, hold on. Let's see, charge armor, charge held items, charge armor, and held items, charge all. Here we go. Might as well just do charge all, because, I mean, why not? So then I will have to upgrade all of this. But again, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to I'm just going to do this between episodes, because, uh, again, like the the upgrade process for all of these is exactly the same.
So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. I hope you guys enjoyed getting the Draconic Armor and uh, getting started on getting some upgrades. Uh, stay tuned next time. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to have this fully upgraded, and we'll probably go for the Chaos Dragon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later!